Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Darren Hauser. Today we're going to be reviewing the NECA RoboCop with spring-loaded holster. This is the definitive RoboCop figure we've all been waiting for. Uh, basically has the exact same articulation and design as the uh, other RoboCop figures that NECA has released. But this one has the feature we've all been waiting for. And uh, a lot of us were waiting with bated breath to see if they would actually be able to accomplish this. Uh, and they have. They have really delivered a fine product here. This pops open. There's a little uh, latch on the back. You have to press that up fairly hard. But it pops open and there's actually a spot right here where you can stick the Auto 9. Uh, you have to line it up so that the... Uh, well, this is the part that's always very difficult. Okay. You kind of have to lay it in there and then fold it over the little peg that's in here. Right there. And then once that's in place, you just press the front panel in. Give it kind of a shove there, and it clicks closed. And then to open it up, like I said, just pop that. Pops right open. Beautifully done, very nicely engineered. Uh, the door panel on the side here uh, does have a tendency to come off, but it latches in uh, pretty easily. So if it if you get one in the mail and it's rattling around in there, it's easily easily fixable. So. It comes with the uh, same accessories as before though, it has the data spike hand, which is a really cool addition, and that goes on the uh, the right hand here, and then uh, comes with his Auto 9, and uh, features the same articulation in the uh, ankles, in the knee, and the hips on a ball joint, also rotates at the waist, at the elbows, wrists, shoulders, and then also has a head on a ball joint. So a lot of really good detail here. The paint job on this one is actually very well done. There were a couple I saw at Toys R Us today that were um, a little less favorable, but this one looks like it's pretty spot on. Um, they also kind of, and this is kind of a lesser note, but they kind of solved the nose issue there. Um, a couple people had complained about the uh, the nose being too prominent on the underside of the mask when they first released the 7-inch Robocop figure. Um, but they quickly fixed that. So, like I said, this really is the definitive version of Robocop that uh, collectors have been wanting, and this beats the hell out of both the previous versions that NECA has released, as well as the McFarlane Robocop figures um, that were released in the past. So, that's about it uh, for this review. If you have any questions about the figure, just leave them in the comments below. Also, I have a couple other reviews up. Uh, one of the 18-inch RoboCop, as well as one of the, uh, the battle-damaged RoboCop figures. So uh, feel free to check that out. Thanks for watching.